So welcome back. It's Kevin once again doing another video on the new hydraulic excavator. So in the last video, oh, before we go ahead, first let me just thank everyone for the questions on the last video. Uh, so I really appreciate that. It always gives us more motivation to do more videos and justifies our time. So keep those questions coming in and thanks for that. Yeah. So in the last video, we spoke about the weight and the size of the box. Pretty big box, as you probably saw in that video. Very hard to get it out. There is a trick which I will show you. It'll make your life a little bit easier. Um, and once you get it, that's what it exactly looks like. So when you get this machine, and if you assume this machine is on its side, so this is on the floor, and you're looking at it from this angle, it could be a little bit of a struggle to get it out. So the easiest way is to grab the tracks up here and one of the cylinders. So find your, find your fingers in between or both the cylinders and grab it by the cylinders and the track straight up. This is going to be the easiest way. Otherwise, it's, it's, it's a bit awkward to actually grab this thing and get it out. And it may be a little bit hard to get it up here. There's no room. So up on the tracks, two cylinders, or between the cylinders and pull it up straight and you should be all right. So what comes inside the box? You've got a manual for the radio. You've got a very basic uh, Fly Sky radio. And you have some decals, some stickers, mirrors. So make sure I give you guys a closer look. You've got some mirrors, you've got some lights and you've got some decals to go with it. So that's what comes inside the box. Now, like in the past, you used to get a wooden crate, not anymore. It now comes in a styrofoam pack with a cardboard box, which personally I think is not the best because in the past you could then retransport your machine in the box that you got, as you all know, or those of you who have the older machines. With the cardboard, you pretty much have to bin it and then build another box but unfortunately that's the way the company has gone i'm sure if you have a cabinet maker locally or a friend you could probably build a nice crate to transport it and which i highly recommend okay so let's go with this uh, excavator i'll give you guys some dimensions to start off with so just give you some basic overall dimensions as you see so that's about 32 inches, it's 830 millimeters, or sorry, 83 centimeters or 830 millimeters. That's the length in the, in the way it is from the extreme ends to here. The width of the tracks, okay, what do we have? It's about nine and three quarter inches. It's 25 centimeters or 250 millimeters. The height, is roughly nine inches or 200 or 23 centimeters or 233 mil the length of the cab or let's call length of the tracks first so the tracks tip to tip is about 15 inches it is 38 centimeters or 380 millimeters uh, the width of the cab is roughly nine and a half inches 24 um, centimeters of 240 mil so that's the dimensions um, uh, of the machine let's see uh, let's unveil this thing a little bit so we can see what it has it's beautifully wrapped so you don't have any scratches uh, just trying to see if I can save this plastic a little bit there's no pressure on this uh, machine that's why all the hydraulics is floppy at the moment okay. it's good to see that they have um, put some effort into wrapping this uh, this makes it a lot more easier and protects the machine a little bit more. So let's 
just going to wrap this up here. Okay, I'll bring it a little bit closer. I'll unwrap this thing later. Uh, we'll, in the next video, we'll get some more detail uh, on. So I'll get the camera, excuse the shakes. So, see if you can get this a bit more closer. You will see more detail. I will show you more detail in the next video. This is just a quick peek for those watching this video. So, uh, pretty well designed, I think. Good hydraulic lines, good finish. It's cast, aluminium cast, good cylinders, a lot of detail on the cylinder itself. Just wait for the camera to focus. We will run this machine so you will see more detail on the next video. So excuse the shakes. Okay, bear with me. Okay. So once again, that's all we got on this video. In the next video, we'll go into more detail. This is Kevin from Construction Scale Model Imports in Australia doing a video on the new VLV hydraulic radio control excavators. Thank you for watching. As usual, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us at info at csmi.com.au. Thank you.